Lugani and I got out of AFI, and we really didn't have much of a clue what to do. So uh, we got a job as production managers on all these low-budget movies. That was at a time when the video business was really starting to boom in 82. So we got out, and we started to production manage these low-budget movies, and we did a bunch of them, and it was really a miserable experience. So after a couple of years of struggling at that, and we were so naive, it was beyond description, and we were broke, so these two friends of ours who actually were from AFI, John Dahl and David Warfield, called us up and said, do you want to produce some music videos? And we were like, can we get paid? And they were like, yeah. So we started producing these music videos. We became very successful at that because we had quite a bit of production experience from the low-budget movies. So we became very popular with the directors. Eventually, what happened was is that we decided instead of doing these music videos for other companies, we would start our own company. And that way we would be able to take the money that we made there and live while we were developing our brilliant features that were never going to get made. And also, hopefully, get to the point where we could spin off enough money where we could use some of the money to develop movies on our own. We developed Kill Me Again and Red Rock West with John Dahl through that whole thing. And it was all through those relationships that we made here that that all happened.